The regional roadmap has seven clear goals and 11 strategies on tuna fisheries and coastal fisheries. Speaking during the Pacific Leaders Forum last week, James Movic, Director General of the Pacific Fisheries Forum Agency, said it is a major step forward in terms of both regional cooperation and integration, as well as in terms of tuna fisheries corporations, when the leaders adopted this roadmap. But the roadmap does one thing that hasn't been done before, which is again to set very clear quantifiable targets. One of these targets is to double the number of people who are employed within the fisheries sector. John Kasu, NFA's managing director, says PNG will exceed the 18,000 job target because of the number of tuna processing plants that are in the country. While the numbers look good, the challenge will be in ensuring the conditions of this job are just as good. Uh, at the moment, we have not really dealt with that, uh, how do I how would say effectively but it's something that we recognize and uh, we'll be working alongside uh, the Department of Labor on. Countries will be expected to score against the indicators on this roadmap in the next Pacific Leaders Forum. Mr. Kasu is confident PNG will have a good scorecard. Uh, so if you look at uh, the national goals you're talking about, you know, employment, food security, empowering our people, all those things that are containing our, our, our national goals are actually those things that we've been working through. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.